Hey everybody, my name is Johnny Mack and today I'm going to um, share with you how to uh, uh, create a sample beat using the new GarageBand. I won't go all the way to making a full sample beat, but just how to import your samples using the new GarageBand. If you're like me, you recognize that the new GarageBand doesn't have um, the way of sampling beats the way you used to. It used to be that you could open up a software instrument, found, find um, a sound effect, and then you, the, the song that you want to sample from, you could like cut the sample you want and drag it to a key in any of those sound effects. But well, now the sound effects aren't there anymore in the new GarageBand. And so um, we have to find a new way of um, navigating around that. So I'm going to show you today how um, I, and this is long, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make it as short as possible, but it's, it's sort of this roundabout way to sort of do it. And if you have an easier way, please share with me how to do it. So this is how I um, do it. I go to... Um, I want to go to um, YouTube. I want to find a video that I want to do, and I've chosen Etta James at last. Right? That's what I want to do. So I want to then uh, copy that, go to uh, my YouTube um, converter. If you don't know about this already, um, uh, now you do. <laughs> it's what I do to convert all my YouTube videos into MP3 files. And then I'll say, uh, once it's converted, uh, it will download. And then now, right now, it's in iTunes, uh, iTunes. Playing in iTunes, I go to iTunes. And um, it will be playing right there. So it's in my iTunes. So you're gonna need uh, you're gonna need iTunes as you move forward, but not right now. So I want a new project in GarageBand, and I know I'm gonna use my Etta James um, song as a sample. Um, just use voice. Um, just choose the microphone as a way of um, doing this. Um, what I want to do now is I want to go into this music. I want to find the Etta James song. Etta, James, at last. Um, okay, then I'll drag it to here or up here. Why not? Great. Close that out. And then what I want to do is I want to play the, the song and I want to find the sample that I want to use. I probably want to get that at last. That at last. So hold on. Yeah, that's what I want. So I want to get that. And I want to get it perfect because um, I'm going to be looping this over and over again. So I want to make sure that I could have cut it right there at the 11. But then I'm missing where she starts singing really right in there. So I want to drag this cursor to just that moment. Maybe right there is good. And then I'm going to um, press the command button and T, bam, I cut it. And so um, then what I do is... Let's see, we stop it right there. Then what I want to do is I just want to see what this sounds like um, with, with, if I were to loop this over and over again on a song for my future song. So I double click the um, this highlighted portion and then it brings up this region um, that I highlighted, which is this region here. And if you can see down here, there's a little play sound, uh, and you just play that. So you see what, what happens was, because I highlight this region, the, um, it, I double click the region, the region comes up, and I'm able to just see what it sounds like if, if I were to sample it a bunch of times. So let's say that I, that's what I wanted. It, it may not be what I want to do if I were to actually use this song as a sample. But just for, you know, um, sharing purposes of how to do this, um, let's do it this way. So what I've been doing is I will say copy. I'm going to copy that this section of the song. And then what I want to do is I may, I, I'll say com command and D to make a new one a new uh, track, I would mute out this, 
and then Command V to paste um, what I just uh, copied from my original sample. Then what I do is I want to save this. I'll say I'll save it as um, at last sample source because I'll be coming back to this um, periodically as I make the song. Then what I want to do is I want to share this this uh, to uh, to iTunes and I want to save it as because I'm going to keep coming back to it I'll say at last sample sort sample one then sh share and um, it'll go to iTunes and it'll go to um, since I didn't I didn't specify which um, playlist it can go it will go to it'll just go to um, a garage band playlist um, and there it is right there so then what I want to do is I want to uh, save and then I want to create a new a whole new garage band uh, project empty project again moving forward and this time instead of doing the microphone I'm gonna do a software instrument create Awesome. Now let's hold off on that for a second. I'm gonna drag this over to the right just a little bit because I need to bring I need to drag something to my desktop. What am I dragging to my desktop? My at last sample. Because I can't open up right now in GarageBand, it's an ACC file. And in order for this to work in our in our um, GarageBand, we need a WAV file. So, or an MP3. But I'm gonna use a WAV file. I'm gonna drag this to my desktop. Then what I want to do is I want to double click it like I like I want to edit the title. Uh, hold on, sorry. Okay, and I want to change that this M4A. I want to backspace, get rid of that, and do keep the dot and do WAV for wave. Enter. It's gonna say you want to keep the M4A. You want to use the wave. I want to use the wave. And then what I want to do now is on my desktop, this wave sample that I want to use. I'm going to go back to my GarageBand. And what I want to do now, I've selected a software instrument because that's what I want to use moving forward. I want to go up here to the smart controls, click that. And then what I want to do is go down to uh, this um, show inspector. I want to click that. Then I'm going to go down to plugins, open that up, and go to instrument. Go over to and if at any time I'm going too fast, of course you can you can you know you know to you can pause, rewind, whatever you want to do. Um, so I go on the instrument, I go into AU Instruments, I want to go down to um, Apple, then I want to see AU Sampler, right? And then over to Stereo. Once I have it over to Stereo, this whole interface comes up. This is the AU uh, AU Sampler. And they have a bunch of um, like things in here already, um, and all of these sounds are because this is um, this was originally the um, the software instrument we chose was a piano, but we're going to use our own sampler. So we want to show editor, right? And then we want to go down here to this. You can't really see it, but it's like a black gear sign. I want to click that, add samples, and then I left it on my desktop. Bam. And there's my at last sample. Bam. Open. Bam. So now I have my at last sample in my garage band. But now I have it. This is my at last sample. <laughs> and um, so let's play it. Now what you're hearing is that you hear that we want to get rid of that. So what that is, is this sign 440. Go there, click that, and press the minus sign, and you get rid of that. So now you have... Right? Now the other thing too is about uh, what I couldn't do in the old garage band was that... Right? So I can actually change the pitch of of the sample. So what I then do with that, 
is I would make a song out of that. So let's say that we um, uh, we want to go and make make this into a song. I'll go over here to the Apple Loops. I want to find a beat that they have, just a software beat. You can use any beat. That sounds like something Michael Jackson would make, right? So let's let's just let's just use that for now. Uh, again, if I were making this a real sample, I probably wouldn't use uh, this particular beat if I didn't like it. But just for sharing purposes, this is what I'll do. And uh, I said I want to use this beat, and I just want to copy this a, a bunch of times. So uh, copy, and then just sort of paste. Let's, let's, I think that's enough. Just enough, you know, to hear it. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go back up to here to my instrument, my sample, my... Hey. Right? And I just want to hear that with this beat. Right? I could do that, right? And if I want to record that, I'm going to go... And so I, I would, you know, this is just for sharing purposes. Of course, that sucked. But <laughs> but you could totally, that's how you add your samples now to your to, to the new GarageBand. The only thing I want to find out now is how to um, sort of, if I want to do the same, the same pitch sample, but on different keys. So it's like this. You know, if I want to do it that way. Um, and so I haven't found that out yet, but this is, I guess this is a good starter as you begin to sort of discover and find things out how to do it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thank you so much for, uh, lis listening and watching. Um, I am Johnny Mack. Um, I'm also a local rapper here in Los Angeles. So, um, you'll see also on my page, like some of my beats or some of my, um, songs that I've made. Um, yeah, that's all I got. So hope, hopefully this helps. Um, um, I hope it really does help you. Um, keep making music. Uh, much love. Peace.